Hi, we're now going to consider how two key aspects of a target audience for demographics and also visibility can affect how we are going to present our information. So in the coming videos, we're going to be considering lots of different points, which if you were presenting, if you were sharing information, you need to think about. So today we're looking at the target audience. We'll look at how different limitations on the content may affect it. We'll look at how the availability of the information will affect your presentation. Also, of course, what you want to achieve, your desired impact of you presenting is going to be really important, as will be the methods themselves you use to either distribute or actually literally present your information. And finally, the actual resources available to you are important, like the hardware and software you've got available. So we'll look at each of these in turn. Now we're looking at target audience. So this is who the information is going to be shared with. So the audience being people who are receiving your information you are trying to share. And considering your target audience is really important from a business perspective because different audiences are clearly going to engage better with certain presentations than other presentations. So for example, right, Kids TV, Mr. Tumble, he is not going to appeal to most adults, I am fairly certain. Whereas maybe a more grown-up TV series like Broadchurch Again, it's not going to appeal to children, but it may appeal to adults. So clearly they are made, each program is made with a specific target audience in mind, and they're going to change how they are presenting the story based on that target audience. Okay, so in terms of our target audience, let's look first at demographics. So these are characteristics of our target audience, so things like gender, age, ethnicity. We'll look at three more in the next slide. Now, I don't need to explain each one necessarily of our ethnicity, perhaps could do with a definition. So this is, ethnicities are different groups of people who identify with each other, often because there is some shared language or ancestry. So ancestry being, you know, who their parents were and so on, maybe where countries are from and so on. So clearly, um, different products are aimed at different genders, so male or female. You've got to consider obviously transgender and non-binary as well. Different ages. Mr. Tumble is designed for kids, so the age is important. Ethnicities maybe not necessarily, although I've underlined language because clearly if you're aiming at a certain group of languages, you're going to adapt your presentation. Perhaps you're aiming for everyone to understand it, not just people who speak one language. So maybe you're going to rely more on visuals than text. You have got to be careful when you are presenting that you are being as diverse as your intended target audience. If you are maybe selling, I don't know, a beard trimmer, that's mostly going to be to men. You don't have to be too worried about making sure you've got enough women in your adverts. But if you are, say, selling a car and your people in your advert are only one ethnicity, it's maybe not being as broad as you are intending. Likewise with age, if you've got just young people driving a car, or well not too young obviously, like middle-aged people, you might be excluding elderly people and so on. So if you are appealing to only a narrow demographic, then you're not going to engage the entire target audience you are trying to get involved in your information presentation. Now there are loads of different demographics, let's look at just three more, so income, location and accessibility. So let's look at, so in, income, you know, obviously if you're trying to sell a Rolls Royce, that is going to apply to a much smaller target audience than a cheaper car, because not many people can afford to buy a Rolls Royce. So the actual income level of people, how much money they have is relevant, of course. Location is more about, you know, where your audience are going to be in the world, say. So, I mean, a silly example here, really, but you'll often in car adverts, you'll see the steering wheel on the wrong side. So in the UK, the wheel is on the right hand side, but because it's often made in Europe or America, the advert is not appealing necessarily to people located in the UK. I'm sure people aren't going to be too offended by this, but it does show they're not fully considering the location. In terms of maybe resources available, if you've got people in remote locations as part of your target audience, this is the Shetland Islands in Scotland, perhaps the network connection is not going to be as good. You'll need to consider this if you're planning to do some live stream to the people of the Shetland Islands. Maybe that's not the most appropriate method. You could present it in some other way. And finally, accessibility is how easily everyone is able to interpret your information. Clearly, everyone has got individual needs. So for example, not everyone has got the best eyesight. If you have got limited eyesight or maybe you're colorblind, as lots of men in particular are, you might want to adapt your presentation to change the colors to be more high contrast often software you can change to become high contrast and the colors become a lot more distinguishable. 
this might make it more accessible to certain people. And finally, let's look at visibility. Not a ton to say about this. There are two main categories of visibility. This is how you actually are providing your information to your target audience. Now, we'll look at actual methods in future videos. This is more about who can access it based on how you are providing it. So the first of our two is public facing methods. So this is where you are providing the information to anyone really, to the general public. So a good example is on websites. So if a website is on the internet, anyone can access it as long as they have an internet connection. Even if the people accessing it are not necessarily your target audience, this is the OCR website for this course. Anyone can access it even if OCR's target audience is just parents, teachers and students. But because it's public facing, anyone can view it. The alternative would be actually targeting the information to your actual target audience. So this is where you are providing it directly to your audience. So if OCR just sent emails to all the teachers, parents and pupils, that would be a targeted way of providing it maybe via email. Now, in terms of a mini evaluation, public facing websites are good because you don't need to have an exact list of your target audience. Whereas if you are going to target your information to your exact audience, you need to know the exact list of that audience, right? So if OCR was doing it to parents, teachers and students, they would need to know everyone who is in that category, which is a big category and they won't know it for sure, which is why having a publicly facing website is perhaps the most appropriate method for them. Now, if there was an element of privacy, of course, targeted is much better because no one who is outside of your target audience can view it.